welcome to your mama's uh, wildlands. Today we have another project I've been working on and that is to make a automated powder trickler. I am into reloading. Uh, I've automated some other stuff. Alright, so more or less what you do. Turn the switch on. Push a button. And technically it should weigh out the same amount every time. I'm going for five grains. Let's see what we got. Zero out the scale. Five point two. Point one. I just finished uh, building this last night, so there's still a little bit of tweaking to get it right. But right now it shows 4.9, 5.0. And 4.9, 5.0. So it's pretty uh, repeatable. And this is uh, very useful for handgun loads where you're only putting six grains in, and uh, even like 0.3 grains over could uh, be an issue. The uh, scale is going between 5.0 to 4.9. I'll probably make myself a little dipper. So I can pre charge the scale. Turn you guys off for a minute, and 5.0. So it's it's pretty repeatable at this point. Again, it'll probably just be a matter of uh, running it for a while, keeping an eye on it, and seeing what it does. All right, I'm going to let you guys go for a minute. I will take the camera off, and I will cover my setup here. Be right back. Hey, folks. Okay, I'm going to explain the guts of this. I have a momentary push button which starts the whole circuit off. I have a maintained push button which is the power. I have a uh, 12 volt jack. I have a 12 volt power supply. All this stuff lying around. There is a 5 volt regulator, a 3 volt regulator, and a 1.5 volt regulator. So the 1.5 volt is what I use to run the motor. The one and a half volt regulator maximum input was three volts, so I needed a three volt regulator. Three volt ma uh, regulator maximum input was five volts, so I needed a five volt regulator. Five volt regulator max, I think it was 40 volts. If you go to a electronic store or distributor, you can probably find one single regulator which will do the job of these three put together. Uh, they have some uh, capacitors across the leads, as should be. Uh, I generally throw in some 104s or 103s. In this type of circuit, it really doesn't matter, but it doesn't hurt either. 
I have a transistor, tip 122, it's a high current transistor. I have a resistor which goes to the gate, I believe is what it's called. Uh, base collector gate, I always confuse those. Anyway, and I have one relay. So what happens is the push button will lock in the relay. Uh, that is all on a 12 volt. The, um, that will also close the contact between the 1.5 volts and the motor. Now the sensor on the beam scale is 12 volts. Um, as long as that is open, we have 12 volts going to the base, I think it is, to the gate of the transistor. Once the little flag breaks the beam and closes the uh, sensor, it will turn off and it will shut down the transistor, which then drops out the 12 volt relay. And that's as difficult as it is. Uh, I think the hardest part is trying to put together the actual uh, powder trickler. So, if you guys need help, give me a shout. Be more than happy to answer questions, as always. Um, I can put a list of what I have in here, but it probably won't do you any good because, again, I cobbled this all together. You may have different stuff stashed away or you may decide to buy different stuff. But like I said, mention something in the comments and I will help you out. Cabin build is coming up. Next weekend for family day, my son and I and some of his friends, we are all going up to the property. We're going to bring some chainsaws. We're going to clear an area for the helicopter to drop off the building supplies. At the end of April, just before black fly season, we'll be up there. I have the helicopter scheduled for Wednesday. Rain delay will be Thursday, and then we have the weekend to build the cabin. Uh, because the helicopter's operating out of a airport, very close proximity to where I am, um, I figure I can get about three one-ton loads in there. We'll have to see. Um, Pilots started talking about cold, thicker air, more lift. Uh, it went over my head. Uh, I think I know what he means, but... Anyway, um, so that's all coming up. Um, we have 15, over 1,500 acres of crown land in behind our place. So there will be a lot of adventures of... Uh, using the cabin as a home base and then doing overnighters, doing our bushcraft and stuff like that. I will also have more builds coming up. If you guys have any suggestions as far as builds, uh, let me know. I'd be more than happy to uh, work on it with some people and help them out and uh, see what we can do. I have lots of odds and ends. I have lots of starter projects. But uh, never afraid to start another project. So, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Uh, wasn't a very elaborate one because this project is really that easy. Again, let me know. I will let you know part numbers if that's what you're after. Um, I can let you know where to find stuff, where to get stuff. And I can even tell you whether the stuff you have will work or you know, it won't work. So, till next time, take care.